This program is brought to you by Morocco, Kingdom of Light. Moroccan cuisine is famous for the amazing colors and flavors characterized by this mixture of sweet and savory. It's that unique fusion of spices. So when you're in Marrakesh, head to the Medina and get yourself to the soup. After some great food at the Medina, I'm ready to play at Asufid Golf Club. The Asufid Golf Club is a desert star course lined with olive and palm trees, and it's been especially designed to minimize water consumption. Now you've got these amazing panoramic views of the Atlas Mountains. The course layout was designed by former European tour player Nar Cameron. It's 18 holes, it's a par 72, and it is a real challenge for golfers. Does that sound about right, Guy? That sounds absolutely right. Yeah. Great to see it's you. a pleasure to welcome you. Thank you. Yeah, as I was mentioning, there's you know there've been a lot of um, olive trees transplanted uh, at the beginning of when they constructed the golf course. Oh. Uh, about 2,200 of them. So uh, oh, that's immense. Yeah, it, it, it is. Guy, your signature 17th has got one of the best views I've ever seen. What can you tell me about it? Yes, this is a great par three, 150 meters downhill, superb backdrop. And a canyon, we've got to get the ball over. Yeah, and that can be a problem. <laughs> Let's have a go. We're at the 14th, which is one of the most strategic holes of the golf course. It's a par five with a double fairway. Very unique, Guy. You're going to go left or right? I'm going to choose the left side, and hopefully that's where it's going to go. <laughs> yeah, let's hope so. Have fun. After being inspired by all the wonderful food in Marrakesh, I'm going to learn how to cook a traditional Moroccan tagine. Hello. Hi, Amy. I'm Fatima. I'm loving the look of your spices already. Sure. Today we will cook uh, lamb tagine with ferns and almonds. Oh, divine. What is in the 36 spices? There is two tips of the pepper. There is cardamom and also there is canela. There is some ginger. Plus some more. Yeah. And once everything is mixed together, you pop the tagine on top of the hot coals. <gasps> oh, Fatima, finally, after two hours, we have the tagine. Bon appétit. <laughs> Thank you. Shukran. Oh, it looks so good. And now it's time for my last round of golf here in Marrakesh. I am at the Al Madan Golf Course, which is situated at the foot of the Atlas Mountains. Now, this 18-hole par 73 course is probably one of the most creative of the Moroccan golf courses because it's inside an open-air sculpture park. Now, Nicola, good to see you. Hi, nice to meet you. Welcome to Al Madan Golf Course. Thank you. Well, you're the person to show us around the place. I'm happy to. Al Madan is one of a kind. It's designed by Carl Phillips and combines a Scottish style with the influence of the Marrakesh Minara Gardens. Now we're at 12, which is a par three, surrounded by these rectangular pools. All the water here is sustainably managed. Now, Nicola, you're gonna hit it. So they say this here is the most challenging hole, the 18th. It's a par five with a dog leg to the left. Now there's a bunker here. It's a famous bunker, the Seven Saints. I say there's nothing saintly about that. This could just destroy my school card. Well, that was challenging and the sun is setting, but it doesn't mean the day is done. It is time to head into Marrakesh and see what this city has to offer. It wouldn't be a trip to Marrakesh without experiencing its exciting nightlife. This city has such a buzz. Wow, Marrakesh, I have been challenged by the golf courses and really embraced by the city. I cannot wait to come back. Here are the great Marrakesh courses to hit the ball at. Golf Amelkis, Palm Golf Palmare, Golf Almaden, Golf Vesufid, Montgomery, Samana Country Club, Noria Golf, Palm Golf Urika, Royal Golf, Fairmont Royal Palm, the Tony Jacklin and Atlas Golf. This program is brought to you by Morocco, Kingdom of Light.